Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching my channel. Those of you who are new, I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you subscribe before you leave, guys. Some of you are watching these videos, but you're not subscribing, and it does not help my channel. It helps if you watch. Yes, it does. I need you to subscribe, and I need you to leave me a comment as well. Now that we got that housekeeping out the way, we have, in today's video, I have another handbag for you guys. Now, those of you who have never heard of Brandon Blackwood, he is a young black designer who makes these fabulous handbags. They're all over Instagram, all over the internet. If you haven't heard of him, go check out his website at brandonblackwood.com. I purchased these items with my own money, of course. Hopefully one day someone will send me something. It would be great. But anyway, this is Brandon uh, Blackwood's, this handbag is from his fall winter runway collection. Now it was um, hanging out on the internet to try to get this drop. Cause he, when he does, when Brandon Blackwood drops his handbag collection, you better run, run, run so that you could get them. Now, you know, I do have other Brandon Blackwood handbags that I did unbox for you guys on my channel. If you have not watched those videos, make sure you watch them and then watch this one as well. I'm going to unbox this beautiful Brandon Blackwood, a New York fall winter runway handbag right now. Here's the beautiful black and white box. He uses the black and white logo, Brandon Blackwood. Inside, you're gonna see the beautiful uh, logo all across the box there. It says Brandon Blackwood there, Brandon Blackwood, New York. Really nice. Let's open this up. She comes in this little uh, box here. Here is the nice dust bag. It's like a, it's a lightweight dust bag, a, a light cotton, I guess. It says Brandon Blackwood, New York, across the dust bag. And then the dust bag has this nice little, um, it's like a coated cotton drawstring bag. So you could reuse this bag if you like. And you also get with all of Brandon Blackwood's handbag, you get this little handwritten note from Brandon Blackwood. Let's, let's see what's, what it says there. And it opens up uh, this style here. I love the way uh, this is. And it simply says, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your new piece. And I can't wait to see how you style it. Love, Brandon Blackwood. Let's put that back in there. And we're going to move this box out of the way so that we can see what's inside the this Up here is a drawstring bag. And it comes in the Brandon Blackwood tissue paper. And it says Brandon Blackwood. And the uh, Brandon Blackwood tissue paper, New York. The bag I purchased is the, let's me, let me open up, see if you guys can guess what it is. So the Brandon Blackwood handbag that I picked up is the Kamal Bucket Bag Black Puffer. Now this is a really nice puffer bag. The material on this bag is Beautiful, it's really soft. The Kamal bucket bag is in black nylon puffer with silver hardware and genuine leather details. So this is nylon, but the, this material is so soft, it's really nice. On the bottom, you can see the plastic hardware. You have four feet, you see there, you have the little silver feet right there on the bottom. You can either keep the little plastic covers on there if you like to protect the feet or you could just take them off there, there's a little silicone or plastic little uh, pieces there to keep the bottom of it clean. The handle drop is only uh, two inches. Uh, there's also a shoulder strap that I'm going to share with you guys. You can use it as a crossbody bag as well. Let me well. show you uh, how beautiful this is. This material, guys, this nylon, this puffer nylon is so, so soft. Let's take off... The logo here on the hang tag, it says Brandon Blackwood there and that beautiful silver raised lettering. And the back is just plain with a really nice stitching there. And there's the glazing there on the side. And it's not detached. Uh, this uh, hang tag that's on here is attached to the bag. You can't take it off, but why would you? You want to know, you want everyone to know that you are definitely carrying a uh, Brandon and Blackwood piece because it's a showstopper and you want anyone to know let's take off the uh this piece off the handle here 
And as you can see, this piece here is, is like a is made out of leather, I believe. Nice stitching all the way around. Let's take out the shoulder strap and let me unravel that just so I could see what that looks like. And on the crossbody strap, you have it's made out of the silver hardware there with the door collar claps there. And it's just simply silver. And then the, the strap is this thin leather adjustable strap. And it's really long. And I think um, the shoulder strap is 18 to 22 inches. I'm not going to unravel the whole thing because I want to put it back. But as you can see, the buckle there. So it's adjustable for a lot of uh, length. And from 18, 18 inches to 22 inches, guys, I think uh, you have plenty of room to wear this bag crossbody. If you're tall, if you're short, it is an adjustable strap there. So that's a good thing. Let's look inside the handbag here. Inside the bag, as you can see, you see there you have the drawstrings inside there. You have your claps. There's a piece of plastic on it. Let me see if I could pull that off. Plastic piece right there. That's where you put your shoulder straps inside here. So inside, you pull to make it a drawstring, you pull it from inside. Let me get this, the rest of this stuffing out of the bag. You could get a lot in here, guys. As you can see, deep down, it's just black inside. There's in, an interior pocket right here, if you guys can see. It's like a small slip pocket. Here's, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you see, here's Brandon. You'll see his logo here. I'm not doing a very good job. But anyway, his logo is inside the bag. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's black. And then there's a small, it's a small slip pocket there. Maybe you can see it a little better. There's a small slip pocket. I think it is. Uh, it's not wide, so I don't think your phone will fit in there. But you could put your lipstick or something in there. And then the branding, Brandon Blackwood is inside the bag. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. But that's right behind the slip pocket here. You have, again, the interior of it is like a, a cloth. You can't see it because it's all black. It's like a cloth material. But it's made very, very well. This is black, guys. That's why I'm leaving the silicone pads in there so you can see how deep it is. But it's a nice size. You could get a lot of items in here. You could get your cell phone. You could get your um, cosmetic case. You could get your keys. I don't have anything uh, nearby. Let me see. I have I have a tea, a tea, just in case. So you can see, this is a, a 15, 18, oh, this is 18 ounces of tea. And you see how it fits in the bag, fits in the bag quite well. It's just on the top. But what I'm trying to explain, guys, you can get a lot in this little mini bag. She's small but mighty. The price on this handbag is $185. At this time, this bag is sold out brandon blackwood's handbags they sell out rather quickly pull the drawstring this is what she's looking like so it's more you can see more of the puffer how she puffs up even more and then when you add your shoulder straps inside it's really cute and then she looks uh, look how cute she is she's look like um little gathering there this is so cute guys look at that and if you don't want to pull her that tight, I pulled her really tight of uh, clothes. You don't have to close her that much. There is no other way to close the bag other than a drawstring. There are no snaps or a zipper. But either way, this is the bag. It's a cute little bag. The bag is made very, very well for the price point. So, and what's good about it, you don't put this in the washer, guys. What you can do if you get anything on it, you just spot clean it with a damp cloth. Like if um, you see any dirt or you could use some warm soapy water on it because it is a material. But you should block, you know, block the handbag with a clean towel to remove the moisture, but don't wet it a lot. And then you just let it air dry before you reuse it. And she comes in a multitude of colors. I'll drop some photos of the different color this handbag comes in, but she's really cute. She's very stylish. You have your four feet there on the bottom. And I love it. So you guys know, I love it. You like it. You got your little handles there. Uh, let me see. You could probably, when, see, when you want to use your shoulder strap, I simply push the handles inside the bag. And then I would attach my shoulder strap inside here like that. And then have my shoulder strap. So this way you don't have to have that handle showing. It's inside the bag. 
and you have your shoulder straps hanging out there on the side and you just hold her by the, by the strap and as you guys can see some i didn't um, unravel everything but anyway you push the handle inside then you attach your shoulder straps on each end and she's really a nice bag to have so she's a top handle bag as well as you have your shoulder strap there and i think at the price point she's very stylish and um hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on one brandonblackwood.com i'm happy to have her watch my other videos with uh, my brandon blackwood purchases and um, I love these little mini bags because they're just so easy to carry. They're small, but they hold a whole lot of items, especially your essentials, uh, guys. And um, I just love them. I just love them, love them, love them. And Brandon Blackwood keeps making them, and I just keep buying them. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have not done so, guys, why, what are you waiting for? Why are you watching my video? Right, go ahead. Just do me a favor. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to see on my channel. Tell me if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up. I really, really would appreciate that. Always remember, guys, you got to stay strong and let the universe do what it do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.